The postgrad program with Folsom University and MIT ACT academic program was actually a fascinating journey. Um, we were able to learn different concepts, different models, different methodologies, understand how intelligence and memory is accepted, the function of the glial cells, the anatomy of the brain, the different components, the different structures such as the cerebellum, cerebrum, um, parieta cortex, the ventral and the dorsal stream. Each one of them actually correlates one to depth, color, and texture of an object. And then we have, which is the where pathway, it correlates to the mathematical dimensions of the object. Neuroscience is an interesting field. It's a fascinating field. We're able to understand people's behavior and motion. How do they react to different cells, um, mutation, um, we're able to understand what multiple sclerosis is, uh, agacia, the language pathway, Broca's area, mind mapping, um, the anatomy of the brain, the central nervous system, development of the brain that's fascinating, hind brain and fourth brain. And we're also able to learn what long-term potentiation is. Long-term potentiation is basically when it correlates to long-term memory. Um, we're able to see something then our long-term memory triggers because we are related we are people who are we are visual people and we correlate that to long-term memory and an emotion that's what that's how we recognize a facial expression or when we're able to correlate with somebody intelligence actually what activates first is the fusiform gyrus and then the temporal lobe and the septal lobe is just um, it all connects and correlates with each other the program is, was extremely fascinating, a lot of research, a lot of writing, a lot of understanding different methodologies, um, calculating statistics, understanding what different concepts in neuroscience are, and most important, developing all what methodologies and models. Um, during the process, we were able to pause what the Brodka area is and the Brodmann area. The Brodmann area associates itself to creativity, and then it correlates to the glucose and the oxygen of the brain, the dispersion of oxygen on the neocortex, on, on your gray and white matters. And then we have the broad, we have the Brodkatz area that's associated to language. Um, and it's also the anterior and cingulate cortex correlates part to language as well. Neuroscience is, is, is a fascinating career. You're able to learn and do research and understand statistics and understand what mutation is, myelin shed, the accent, the different neurotransmitters, what glutamate is. Um, we're able to understand so many different concepts, um, learn different theories, um, explore with CAN, fMRIs, or AEG, the, the, the oxygen of the brain. Doing a lot of research enhances memory, intelligence, and we're able to understand people's behavior, how they react. We have factors, environmental factors that affect what our intelligence and memory. Um, and we have culture as well. We, we go in genetic and DNA and genome and the different chromosomes. Um, it is an interesting it's interesting to be able to understand the behavior of people, to understand how they think and they memorize, um, to understand what novelty is, symbol is, the different step in the creative process, how we can prevent brain cancer. That's an un another interesting uh, field that we're able to understand the mutation of the cell, the duplication, the malignity, the photons, the molecular the genetic codes, the different genetic codes that different diseases and syndromes have. Um, it's, it's, it's fascinating and interesting. There's a lot of research in multiple sclerosis, um, mitochondria, it's, um, a lot of genetic disease that also correlate with the, with the, with the IQ and, and the brain. It has been a fascinating journey and um, through this postgrad I was able to mix what neuroscience is and
the development of graphics and animation. Basically, what parts of the brain activates when we view an animation or an image, what is perceptive motion, what is graphic, what is visual mapping, what is data mapping, visualization, what is cell one and cell two, what are the different intelligence between men and women. That's another fascinating uh, theory. And what is what does Sperry does? He, what what does he st study the right hemisphere and and the left hemisphere? Sperry was actually a novel art in psychology that discovered the functions of the right hemisphere and left hemisphere. Um, it's, it's a very interesting research. Being able to learn, research, and memorize enhances our IQ. The people who we correlate with, the people who relate to that that plays an essential key in the development of our intelligence and persona. I mean, we're in a highly academic environment, your IQ rises. Highly intelligent people, your IQ rises. Simple, that is, is that's, that's, uh, uh, that's a scientific research. But when we go work or we do things that actually affect us, our attention span, um, multitasking or, or administrative tasks, that reduces our memory. Television kills our neurons, kills our cells, the dendrites, the cell structure. Classical music has alpha synchronization wave. That is very helpful and it triggers your IQ and the gray matter and white matter. Um, I'm very grateful to be able to have the parents that I did. Um, a much of a scientific background in mathematics. They encourage you the development of the brain. They to read, to enhance memory, and to be able to keep learning. Um, learning is a never ne never ending path. We, we can do so much with academia and education because that leads to innovation, that leads to research, that leads to new models that can put us ahead in the country. It, it has been an interesting journey. Um, I really enjoyed it a lot. A lot of research, a lot of writing, a lot of statistics. Um, teaches you how to write a math analysis, understanding about fulcrum, central distribution, how to calculate and how to interpret data, for the frequency coefficient data and how to write a math analysis. That's another interesting part uh, of the postgrad. It allows you to develop an explicit and implicit memory, understand what novelty is, what symbol is, the different type of pathways, what is a molecular, what is cell, what is mutation, and what is DNA, chromosomes, and the different neurotransmitters. Um, and how you're able to enhance those parts of the brain. And most important, what ALN network is. ALN network is a fascinating theory in neuroscience that explains how people, when people correlate with each other, they relate, we're able to have our IQ increased or depending on the person you correlate or relate with, or um, decrease or, uh, or adapt our emotions to what the other person is. It's a very interesting um, hypothesis. I'll be posting most of my research and I'll be that I'll be develop and um and I'll be continue doing academia and research and hopefully help people make decisions. Knowledge is is fascinating and I'm blessed to have the gift of science and mathematics and to be able to understand the different components and the development of the brain. Nidia. Nidia.